When I was in high school, I brewed my own mead. Once there was a bee crawling on my arm that had gotten trapped inside. It was covered in dust and near death. I've always liked bees and don't believe in killing things unnecessarily. The mead had started brewing three days prior, so it was basically non-alcoholic honey water at that point. I filled a bottle cap W slash it, and over the next five minutes, the bee drank about half a cap's worth. Judging by this and his condition, he hadn't eaten in days. Five minutes after the bee finished his drink, he seemed completely rejuvenated and flew off when I put him outside on the balcony. I used to smoke back then too, and would always go out on the balcony for this. Right after this event, literally every time I went out on the balcony, two bees would circle around me the entire time I was out there. They weren't threatening and kept a respectful distance from me at all times. It was like they were examining me. I never mentioned this to anyone because it sounds crazy, right? But eventually, any and everyone who smoked with me would notice this happening and would mention it. The two bees were always knocking each other out of the air to get a better look at my face. Didn't matter if I was alone or there were eight people who slash me, the bees were only interested in me. I really think the bee I saved communicated his story to the rest of the hive, and they assigned two bees to investigate me. Why I can only speculate, but I believe as a colony, they were trying to learn about human behavior in order to further their own survival, and I was some sort of case study for them in the potential benevolence of man. A weird little story I know, but make of it what you will. This gave me a far greater appreciation and insight into their collective intelligence and ability to learn. I mean, the facial recognition aspect alone is astounding to me.